In cryptography, linear cryptanalysis is a general form of cryptanalysis based on finding affine approximations to the action of a cipher. Attacks have been developed for block ciphers and stream ciphers. Linear cryptanalysis is one of the two most widely used attacks on block ciphers, the other being differential cryptanalysis. The discovery is attributed to Mitsuru Matsui, who first applied the technique to the field cipher. Subsequently, Matsui published an attack on the data encryption standard, eventually leading to the first experimental cryptanalysis of the cipher reported in the open community. The attack on DES is not generally practical, requiring 247 known plaintexts. A variety of refinements to the attack have been suggested, including using multiple linear approximations or incorporating non-linear expressions, leading to a generalized partitioning cryptanalysis. Evidence of security against linear cryptanalysis is usually expected of new cipher designs. Overview. There are two parts to linear cryptanalysis. The first is to construct linear equations relating plaintext, ciphertext and key bits that have a high bias, that is, whose probabilities of holding are as close as possible to zero or one. The second is to use these linear equations in conjunction with known plaintext ciphertext pairs to derive key bits. Constructing linear equations for the purposes of linear cryptanalysis. A linear equation expresses the equality of two expressions which consist of binary variables combined with the exclusive or operation. For example, the following equation, from a hypothetical cipher, states the XO are sum of the first and third plain text bits and the first cipher text bit is equal to the second bit of the key. In an ideal cipher, any linear equation relating plain text, cipher text and key bits would hold with probability one half. Since the equations dealt with in linear cryptanalysis will vary in probability, they are more accurately referred to as linear approximations. The procedure for constructing approximations is different for each cipher. In the most basic type of block cipher, a substitution permutation network, analysis is concentrated primarily on the S-boxes. The only nonlinear part of the cipher. For small enough S boxes, it is possible to enumerate every possible linear equation relating the S boxes input and output bits, calculate their biases and choose the best ones. Linear approximations for S boxes then must be combined with the cipher's other actions, such as permutation and key mixing. To arrive at linear approximations for the entire cipher, the piling up lemma is a useful tool for this combination step. There are also techniques for iteratively improving linear approximations, deriving key bits having obtained a linear approximation of the form. We can then apply a straightforward algorithm using known plain text cipher text pairs to guess at the values of the key bits involved in the approximation. For each set of values of the key bits on the right-hand side, count how many times the approximation holds true over all the known plain text ciphertext pairs, call this count t. The partial key whose t has the greatest absolute difference from half the number of plain text ciphertext pairs is designated as the most likely set of values for those key bits. This is because it is assumed that the correct partial key will cause the approximation to hold with a high bias. The magnitude of the bias is significant here, as opposed to the magnitude of the probability itself. This procedure can be repeated with other linear approximations, obtaining guesses in values of key bits, until the number of unknown key bits is low enough that they can be attacked with brute force. 